Hi, I'm Rob from B&H, and we're taking a look at the Presonus Studio Live RMAI Rack Mount Digital Mixing System. Presonus makes two versions of the mixer, the Rackspace 32 input RM32AI that we have with us today, and the three Rackspace size 16 input RM16AI. Other than the number of inputs and outputs, the systems are identical. Like a number of new digital mixers these days, you won't find a console on the RM32AI. Instead, you control the system on a Mac, PC, or even better, an iPad or multi-touch Windows 8 computer. That frees the sound engineer to leave the mixer on stage and make front of house adjustments remotely from the audience's perspective. What's more, the performers can adjust their individual monitor mixes themselves using the QMix AI app for the iPhone and iPod Touch. We tested it with both a MacBook Pro and an iPad and it worked quite well. It's a 100% recallable system with 32 internal channels, 25 mix buses, fat channel signal processing, and a lot more. In this video, we'll take a look at the chassis and its inputs and outputs, how it works with various control surfaces, and then we'll take a look at the UC Surface software features, including fat channel processing, the mix scroll view, filter DCAs, and the QMix AI app. Taking a look at the chassis on the RM32AI, we've got 32 locking XLR inputs here on the front that feed XMAX Class A mic preamps with 60 dB of gain. Also here are 16 XLR outs for monitor mixes. Three more XLR outputs are here for the mains, left and rights with a trim pot, and a mono out with a trim pot for a subwoofer or LCR mixing. RCA tape inputs are convenient for playing music between sets, and of course is a quarter inch headphone jack. The USB port here is for the included USB Wi-Fi module and for firmware updates. The input LED meters glow green if signal is present and red if you're clipping, but with the 48 volt button engaged, inputs that have phantom power activated will glow yellow. On the back are two DB25 connections that mirror the front panel outputs, handy for connection to wireless in-ear transmitters. The MIDI ports back here are designed for use in a future firmware update. Also back here is the option card slot with a SPDIF output and an Ethernet port if you prefer a wired LAN network connection. At the moment, the RM series ships with the FireWire 800 option card, which allows you to send digital audio to and from your computer, meaning you can both record sessions to and playback files from a DAW. So if you have background vocals or maybe horn or string parts, the band can play live over those parts coming from from the computer, assuming you're not using all 32 channels for analog inputs. Presonus also includes its Capture and Studio One Artist software. You can use Capture to quickly record a live show and then open that recording, complete with the mixer scene in the Studio One DAW. The second FireWire port is for additional externals like a hard drive, for example. Now, don't despair if you're less than thrilled by the idea of FireWire 800. Presonus indicates that AVB, Dante, and Thunderbolt option cards will be available very soon. We ran the UC Surface software on the Mac and the iPad two different ways, using both an Ethernet cable connected to the router and using the Wi-Fi dongle, and both functioned well. The Mac worked very well as a controller, and the iPad generally worked quite well also, although its version of the UC Surface software does not yet fully support the DCA filters feature, but Presonus has told us they're working on an update for that. The setup options are quite versatile. You can use one computer or an iPad for controlling the software and a second computer for audio recording and playback, or use a single computer for software control and audio. The UC Surface software is very easy to use. The settings menu lets you set the sampling rate, which maxes out at 96 kilohertz at a 24-bit resolution. Here you can also choose between stereo and LCR mixing and manage settings for the talkback mic, solos, Q-source, etc. Now in a live situation, you might want to start by throwing some faders up on the main mix and then tapping on the preamp trim in the fat channel section where a slider appears. All 32 channels feature Presonus's fat channel processing. So in addition to input settings where you can choose whether the input is analog or digital, polarity, etc., each channel has a gate slash expander, a compressor, a limiter, and a four band EQ. The fat channel presets are really helpful. The presets are divided into different instrument categories and you can choose to load the entire channel or just certain effects. Say if you just want the EQ and not the compressor. If you like your settings but you want to hear other options, you can use the audition and AB functions to compare. 
The number of faders visible in the mixed scroll view is dependent on the amount of screen real estate available, but you can swipe over the faders or over the meter bridge at the bottom to see all 32 channels. Faders show input levels as well as meters for the gate and compressor. Faders can be labeled and the usual suspects are all here, solos, mutes, panning, etc. Of course, you can switch from the main mix to viewing any of the 16 monitor mixes or four effect buses. Mix buses can be linked for stereo monitor mixes. On the effect buses, A and B are reverbs, while C and D are delays. Four different types of delays and four different types of reverbs are available, and each type has quite a few presets to choose from. The RM series offers filter DCAs, or digitally controlled amplifiers, that allow you to group channels and then adjust the relative level of all the channels in a group. When a particular DCA is selected, the channels that are not in the group are filtered out visually, so you don't see them, and the filter DCAs stay active until exited, so you can easily adjust the group in various monitor mixes. Eight mute groups are available if, for example, you want to group all the drums or vocals or effects to a mute group. Also convenient are the eight mix scene quick recall buttons, allowing you to move quickly between snapshots during a mix. Before we wrap it up, I want to mention the QMix AI personal monitoring control app for the iPhone and iPod Touch. This app allows performers on stage to control their own monitor mixes remotely from their phones. The vocalist needs to hear more of himself in the cans? No problem. He can raise the volume himself rather than scream and make hand gestures at the sound engineer. Awesome. So this is an overview of the RM AI mixers from PreSonus to powerful and versatile 32-channel mixers with a feature set sure to make a lot of live sound engineers very happy. I'm Rob from BH, and thanks for watching. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, BH has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help.